Hi everyone, I'm Wade Evans, the Global Solution Engineer here at Avlite, uh, and today we're going to do a bit of a product overview on the Arkeo Medium Intensity Dual Type A and B Obstruction Light, which I have sitting right in front of me here. Um, so a bit of an overview of the unit, uh, in case you don't know, an Arkeo Medium Intensity Type A is 20,000 candela white, 2,000 candela white at night, and 2,000 candela red at night is the Medium Intensity Type B variant. So this unit does both of those, both type A and type B in a single fixture, um, which means it does both white and red, um, all in, the, in this small little fixture here. Um, so this unit is primarily used on obstruction lights over 45 metres tall, anywhere that the local aviation authority has designated the need for a medium intensity obstruction light. Um, some examples of applications are towers, cranes, buildings, hotels, masts, smokestacks, anywhere that a medium intensity obstruction light's required really. Um, in terms of the features of this unit, it comes with the self-contained control uh, and the driver boards are all with internal to the unit, which means there's no need for an external flasher system or an external control system um, unless you desire one. Um, it also comes with RS422, RS232 uh, and two GPIOs, which are gen general purpose input and outputs. Uh, and that means you've got two general purpose inputs and two general purpose outputs you can use for control and monitoring. It also has a dry contact uh, alarm for monitoring purposes, um, which is great for, for diagnostics uh, and other monitoring applications. In terms of options for this unit, you can have a self-contained GSM board that goes inside this unit, which allows you to do GSM monitoring via a cell network. Um, and it also can be integrated with an Avlite control and monitoring solution. Now what that gives you is the ability to integrate multiple obstruction lights, whether they're Ikea medium intensity type A and B, standalone Ikea medium intensity type Bs, or Ikea uh, low intensity type A and Bs as well, all into a single system, which will give you a single point of control and monitoring. Uh, that generally means those systems are based around your application um, and your, your given purpose. Um, however, generally we end up doing synchronized common photo cell, as well as a bunch of monitoring outputs uh, that can interface into something like a BMS uh, or an external monitoring system. So that's the options and the features of this unit. Uh, in terms of the advantages, uh, the primary advantage for the market sector of this unit is that it's quite a low form factor. Uh, it's less than 10 kilograms, 8.8 .8 to be exact. Uh, it's also um, quite low power consumption for the unit. Uh, for the 20,000 candela white option, it's 40 watts average power consumption. For the 2,000 candela white sorry, option for night time, it's about 6 watts. Um, and for the 2,000 candela red uh, option, it's about 10 watts. So that means that uh, it's quite a low power consumption unit, which means your upstream distribution there's less of a burden on, and overall it's far more cost effective. Um, also, having a, a relatively self-contained unit means you're not overburdened with having to mount uh, and interface to external flashing units or external control systems, unless it's part of the system that you want to use. Um, so it means there's less mounting required um, and installation is far easier as well. So that's a bit of a rough overview of the Arkeo dual medium intensity type A and B. Um, and if you require any further information, uh, just get in contact with us at www.avlite.com. Thank you.